Hey there YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Sanjit and in this video we are going to try to recreate the intro from the famous Netflix series named Dark. So the intro uses a kaleidoscope kind of effect where you can see a lot of reflections and symmetry and that kind of stuff. So that's what we'll be trying to recreate and I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro to achieve this effect which I've already opened up. So I've already imported all the video files that I'm going to be using inside the project panel right here in this window. Now since this video will also require the kaleidoscope effect to look very symmetric at some places there is obviously going to be some math and calculation involved. So what I'll do right now is I'll quickly go and click the program panel and then press command plus R to enable the ruler. Now with the help of the ruler I'll be able to decide at what point do I have to make the reflections and those sort of things. Alright so I've also imported some of the clips from the main intro itself. So we are going to be recreating three types of effects from the main intro starting from the most easy one. So this is how the first one looks like. Alright so if you pay attention to this whole frame you could see that uh, this was the part of the main frame that they rotated it like minus 90 degree. Then if you can imagine there's some imaginary axis over here and they reflected this frame about this axis and that's how they got this section and then they reflected this whole section about this axis. So let me show you what I exactly mean by this. Alright so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take this video of a man walking inside a cave. I've already selected which segment of the video that I'm gonna be using. So I'll just click on this little icon over here and drag this video to my timeline. There you go. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is click on this video, go to effect controls, change the rotation by minus 90 degree. Um, also change its position a little bit and scale it a little bit this looks good uh, yeah so now the main effect that we'll be using throughout this tutorial is the mirror effect which you can find by searching here and it's under distort under video effects now if you drag this mirror effect here you'll see it has been reflected we just need to change the reflection center and that's how it has been reflected but we want to get it reflected over here so what we'll be doing is we'll remove the mirror effect from here we'll create a new adjustment layer drag this over our video and drag the mirror effect to this adjustment layer now we are going to change the position of this and that's how we got this now I'm gonna put the reflection center to around 640 since in the original video also the position was at around 640 so this looks good enough. Now to refill this part of the frame as well what we'll do is just put the mirror effect once again in this adjustment layer and then change the reflection center once again. Um, I think this time I'll be using the position 1280. This looks good enough. So we have our first scene ready. Let me just render this and see how it looks. So this looks pretty awesome. Let us move on to the next kind of effect which is this one. Alright so the reflection part of this effect is pretty simple but the thing that is differentiating here is this part of the woman that we see. So what we have to do is use some kind of overlay over the reflected surface and that's how we'll get this effect. Let us try to recreate this now. So I'll select this video and drag this part of the video to the timeline. So now we are gonna start building out our master frame and then reflect it above the center. You can see that this part of the rock is dark. So I'm gonna overlay a face shot of a person on this. Now one thing to notice about the mirror effect is that it starts the reflection from the right side of the frame. So I'm going to flip this frame by horizontally flipping it using the horizontal flip effect. So I'm going to search for the horizontal flip effect over here and then drag it to my video. So as you can see the video has been flipped horizontally. Now the next part of this is I'm going to take this shot of a woman and I'm going to drag this over my video as well. Now what I'm going to do is go to the effect controls, um, decrease the opacity to around 30% 
and also change the position of this frame so that I can only see half of the face. Uh, now what I am going to do is draw a mask around the face of this woman. Now I am going to change the feathering of this mask and also the expansion so it fits my needs. Now if I click outside and see uh, this looks pretty good. Now all we need to do is drag an adjustment layer to the timeline over the video. Cut this out. And now we need to change the position of this frame so that the girl is in the middle. So for that we will have to use the transform effect and drag this to the adjustment layer and change its position to 0. And now the only thing remaining is to use the mirror effect on it. So drag this effect to the adjustment layer as well and there you have it. Uh, there is just a little line over here so I am just going to fix that by changing the position to 10 and reflection center to 1910 perfect now let us render this and see how it looks perfect it looks pretty awesome to me now it is time to move on to the last and the third effect which is this one now the tricky part here is noticing that the reflection in this particular frame is not just about the vertical axis or the horizontal axis but it is also about the diagonal axis. So this will involve us playing with the reflection angle in the mirror effect tool. So let me show you how. So I will drag this video to the timeline now and add the mirror effect to it. Now I am going to reflect this by 60 degree and change its reflection center to match this as a diagonal. I think 1000 would be a good number. Now we don't care about this part, so we'll be taking this part of the frame and reflecting it to this part. So now I'm going to take the mirror effect again and apply this to my video. And this time I'm going to change the reflection center to 960. And you can see that this part has been reflected here. Now the only thing remaining is to reflect this bottom part of the video uh, on this part. So we'll apply the mirror effect once again and this time we'll change the reflection angle to minus 90 degree. And this should give you the desired effect. We have rendered it and now let's see how all these three effects look like. These look pretty neat to me. Now let's see how it looks after I add some color grade and add some music to it. Well that's it for this video. I hope I made everything clear to you and I really hope you learned something from this. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel for more creative content on shooting and editing videos. And also please like this video as it will help YouTube to push my content to more other people who would like to see such videos. With that said, I'll see you in the next video. Stay home and stay safe. Bye.